a quadratic equation in general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So that might be 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. So the coefficients are your values of a, b, and c. To be a quadratic, a can't be 0, but b and c can both be 0. So the, there's a quadratic formula, and that gives the solutions for x in terms of a, b, and c. And later in this video, I'm going to show you how you would come across that formula, how, you would, how we derive it. But the quadratic formula here says x equals negative b, or the opposite of b, or some people even say minus b, which isn't technically correct, but you get the idea. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and it's all over 2a. Well, you could learn this formula by singing a little song to Pop Goes the Weasel. So here it goes. Here's what you're going to sing down here. X equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, there's more to it, but I'm going to leave it for now. So this is the main one. So sing it with me. You ready? X equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so listen. Sing it about 10 times for five days in a row and you're never going to forget this song. Now, are you ready to see where, how come that's true? Why is that the solution to a quadratic equation in general form? You probably aren't that interested, but maybe you are. So those of you who are, just keep on going to the next part. All right, we're going to try and define the solutions of ax squared plus bx plus c, and we're going to be doing completing the square. So you will have had to have had some instruction on that to fully understand this. All right, so step one is I've got something in standard form, so it's equal to zero. It's an equation. I'm going to start off by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x squared, which is a. So divide everything by a. Now notice I put each term over a. It's really the same as putting it all over a, but then of course you would break it up. Whoops. And you could put each term over a. Right? So we would have ax squared over a plus bx over a, which I'm going to write as b over a times x, okay, plus c over a. And what's 0 divided by a? 0. When 0 is in the numerator, you're going to have 0. And if you remember, I said a can't be 0, the coefficient of x squared. So we don't have to worry about that we're dividing by 0. All right, so this gives me x squared plus b over a x. Now, I'm going to take the constant term, c over a, and subtract c a from both sides. So I'm going to put it on the other side as negative c over a. I'm going to leave a little space here. It equals negative c over a. And I'm going to try to complete the square here. I'm going to add something to both sides of the equation. Okay? Now what's it going to be? Well, if this was a perfect square, then to get an x squared here, it's going to have to be x times x to get the x squared. So that's an x. Since this is a plus, this middle term is a plus. And then hopefully you remember this term in here, you're going to multiply it by 2 to get b over a. So it's actually half of b over a to begin with. So it's got to be half of the coefficient of x. So half of b over a is b over 2a. So let's see if that would work. If I'm going to use my formula for squaring a binomial, look down here, I would get x squared, so x times x is x squared, and then I would have, for the middle term, remember it's x times b over a, I mean x times b over 2a times 2. So convince yourself if you did x Let's see. Let's move this up. 
and what is x times b over 2a times 2. Do you see all the 2's cancel? And lo and behold, I get b over ax. So that's correct for the middle term. And then the last term, which is what we want to know what goes in, in the box here, is the last term squared. So b over 2a times b over 2a is b squared over 4a squared. Whatever I add to the left side of the equation, I must add to the right side of the equation. Okay, so I have b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Oh, well how are we going to simplify on the right hand side? I have some fractions, so I need to get a common denominator. That common denominator is going to be 4a squared, so this has to be multiplied by 4a over 4a. Let's see. Okay, hopefully you can see all that. All right, so what do we have? Keep on going. So I've got this x plus b over 2a squared. Now I have a common denominator. I have b squared over 4a squared minus, I'm going to write this as 4ac, just write it alphabetical order, over 4a squared. So I have x plus b over 2a squared is b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Okay, now, so I know this thing squared is what's over here. And now, to simplify, I, I mean to figure out what x is, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Okay. So when you take the square root of both sides, remember you have to put a plus or minus in front of one of the sides. All right, so if I take the square root of something squared, I get what's inside, which is x plus b over 2a. And on this side, I have a plus or minus the square root of the top, which is b squared minus 4ac, over the square root of the bottom. Well, the square root of 4a squared is 2a. Almost done. So now I'm going to subtract b over 2a from both sides. So I get negative b over 2a. Then I have this plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And, oh, great, common denominator. So I have it all over 2a. We have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Awesome! There it is, the quadratic formula. Sing it one more time. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Hey, if you could derive the quadratic formula, wow, you really understand completing the square. But if you can't derive it, at least you've got to know the formula and use it. Let's just do one little problem using the formula. So here's a problem. What's a, b, and c? Well, a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is negative 7. I like to do b squared minus 4ac first. That's called the discriminant. So b squared is negative 3 times negative 3, it's 9, minus 4ac. All right, I'm going to do a times c. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. So I have 9 plus 56, which is 65. All right, so I know when I'm going to plug in for b squared minus 4ac, I've already done that part. So now let's use the quadratic formula. It's x equals negative b. That means the opposite of b, 3 plus or minus the square root of 65, I already did the b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, a is 2, 
And there you go. La dee da dee da. Two solutions, 3 plus the square root of 65 all over 4, and 3 minus the square root of 65 over 4. These are really two solutions. Okay, so we've got the quadratic formula, how I derived the quadratic formula, how to sing it so you can memorize it, and just one little example. Have fun.